प्यारी साध संगत जी रिस्पेक्टेड जजेस कच्छ के फतेह बुलानी वाहिगुरु जी का खालसा वाहिगुरु जी की फतेह टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट सम ऑफ द ब्रेव सिक्स ऑफ द 18th सेंचुरी हु डेडिकेटेड देयर लाइव्स फॉर द प्रमोशन ऑफ सिखी एंड सिख वैल्यूज सरदार जसा सिंह आलोवालिया वाज अ वेरी फॉर्चूनेट मैन throughout his life he came in contact with so many great personalities and learned good qualities from them which made his name in history as the king of nations his first teacher was his mother who was a very spiritual woman he continued his education under mata sundari ji's supervision at the age of 5 when he learned bani from pai mani singh from 1729 onwards jassa singh was under the mentorship of nawab kapoor singh nawab kapoor singh himself was a very respected humble and spiritual sick and discussing imbibed these qualities from him his fellow six made fun of his young age and punjabi pronunciation but he remained focused on his work of taking care of the horses this taught us us saying patience humility and love he was a good statesman and organized the sikh forces and overthrew the afghans and the moguls he never misused his high position After he was declared the king of nations the six minted coins which did not bear his name he was so selfless that he declined the throne of delhi to avoid fratricidal war he was a very compassionate man and rescued 2200 abducted hindu girls from abdali as the king of nations he needed patience humility and love to be an effective leader sardar bagad singh was a great leader and a devout sikh Even though he captured Delhi, he chose to establish gurdwaras in the memory of the gurus rather than ruling the city. Emperor Shah Alam's wife, Begum Samru, who was a politically intelligent woman, tried to appeal to his Sikh values by addressing Bagel Singh as her brother and pleaded with him for her husband's life after the capture of Delhi. Bagel Singh was also a very good statesman and knew that he had not consolidated enough political power to rule over both Punjab and Delhi. In turn he negotiated an agreement where Shah Alam's life would be spared and he would be reinstated as a puppet ruler. Under the agreement the 4006 whom Bagad Singh left behind oversaw the construction of multiple gurdwaras but the construction was financed by the Mughal treasury. This was the character of the six at that time where they chose Sikhi over the throne. Raj na chaho mukit na chaho man preet charan kamlare Sad Singh ji humility or namrata is a virtue that is vigorously promoted by gurbani mithat nivi nan ka gun tanya tat seeking forgiveness for your mistake is a must the headsman of by sukha singh's village feared the government so he did not approve of sukha singh becoming sick at the age of 15 by sukha singh joined the squad of sham singh atari and he took the mare of the village headsman without asking once he was in the area He especially went to his village to ask the headsman for forgiveness for his mistake. He also offered him the price of his mare. The headsman refused to take the money, saying he cannot take money from a person who is fighting the tyrants for the welfare of the people. With his humbleness, Bai Sukha Singh was able to change the mind of a person who was against him. This is the power of humility. The importance of humility can be seen that every day in our dhas we pray for nimrata. Sikha da maniva mat uchi. Dal Khalsa was comprised of Amritdari Singhs, which was mainly a cavalry force. In the Sarbat Khalsa of 1734, Nawab Kapoor Singh made a very wise decision of dividing Dal Khalsa into two dals on the basis of age, Budda Dal and Tarunna Dal. Singhs above the age of 40 were called Budda Dal and were responsible for taking care of the Gurdwara and the Prachar of Sikhi. Tarunna Dal operated throughout Punjab fighting the tyrants. This division helped in maintaining the 70,000 things. In today's world, there is no need to divide the six any more than they are. The 18th century was a hard time. Six were fighting for the survival of Sikhi and their lives. It was necessary to divide them. We don't have that situation anymore. Rather, the young adults are going away from Sikhi. To bring them back, the best thing would be to pair them with the older generation and get them involved in the Gurdwaras. so that they can learn from the experience and dedication of the older generation now i will talk about two challenges faced by today's sick kids six are constantly being misidentified people cannot differentiate a sick from a hindu or a muslim or sometimes mistake a person wearing a turban for a terrorist 
Something must be done to rectify this. We should draw upon the wisdom of our ancestors who established their goodwill amongst the common people by protecting them and doing seva. We need to invest in the Sikh organizations working round the clock to familiarize the government and the common people about Sikhi. We can spread awareness by participating in different social events and trying to educate the people. Also, we should encourage the youth of today to pursue such careers that give a voice to our people. The second problem, in my opinion, is a lack of good role models. Most of the leaders or media personalities with whom the youth identify are not Budingur Sikhs. Rather, having shorn beards, drinking, drugs, and violence are promoted. It's a dilemma for kids to practice Sikhi or be cool. This is the time to introduce them to the great personalities like Banda Singh Bahadur, Nawab Kapoor Singh, Akali Fula Singh, Hari Singh Nalva, and so many others. Every time I read about these warriors, I realize how great they were. No matter how much they suffered, they still remained in Chardikala. Our senior citizens can take up this seva of teaching the new generation about our history, just like Buddha Dad. Invest in the youth, and you will see yields four times over. Babaniya kahaniya, put saput kirin, put chukmaf karniji, vahi guruji ka khalsa, vahi guruji ki fateh.